Hey there, welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and in this video we're finding the turning points of quadratic graphs. So let's look at the key features of the graphs we've already learnt about. We have already learnt how to find the y-intercept. We found that by making x be 0, in either case either a positive or negative quadratic. We found the x-intercepts by making y equal to 0. And how did we find the line of symmetry? Well, we, we realised the line of symmetry was halfway between the two roots, or the two x-intercepts. Now, how are we going to find the turning point? Now, the turning point is where the graph turns from, in this case, it's going down, 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 and then starts coming up. Or in this case, it's going up, 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 and it starts going down. Or you could think of it as a minimum point or a maximum point. That's another way of phrasing these turning points. Well, the one thing we know for sure is that the x-coordinate is shared with the x-value on the line of symmetry. That's certainly true. And if we could find the x-value of this, which we can because it's on this line of symmetry, we could substitute that x-value back in to the original equation of the um, curve or the parabola and we could find the y-value that matches it. And that's exactly what we're going to try and do. So. We're going to try and find these turning points, the coordinates of them. Let's get straight into an example. If you feel like you can do it, pause the video and have a go. OK, we need to find the coordinates of this point here. We're going to do it in stages. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the x values of the roots. Then we're going to go exactly halfway between those to find the line of symmetry. And having found the x values on the line of symmetry, we're going to substitute that x value back in to the equation of the curve or the parabola, and that will give us the y value that goes with it. So let's do it in different stages. The first stage is to find the x-intercept. We know there y is 0. So let's solve the equation 0 equals x squared add 11x add 28. So therefore, we're going to try and factorise, and that factorises nicely to x add 4, x add 7. Therefore, x add 4 equals 0, or x add 7 equals 0. So I get the solution x is negative 4, or x is going to equal negative 7. That's step 1. So this coordinate here must be negative 7, 0. This coordinate here must be negative 4, 0. Step two, I'm going to find exactly halfway between, so I find the x value of halfway between. I'm going to do that by averaging the numbers. So let me do negative 4, add negative 7, divided by 2, which is going to be negative 11 divided by 2, or negative 5.5. Now, we're nearly there now. We know at this line here, x is negative 5.5, is the line of symmetry of the curve. If we were to substitute, we know therefore for sure that the coordinates of this, the x-coordinate is certainly x is negative 5.5, the y-coordinate we need to find. How are we going to do that? The last stage we're going to substitute negative 5.5 into the quadratic. So the very last stage here, we know that x is negative 5.5, we're going to substitute it in and find what the y that matches it is. So we're going to do, remember to substitute with brackets, negative 5.5 squared, add 11 multiplied by negative 5.5 add 28. Time for the calculator. So make sure you have your bracket. So we have bracket negative 5.5 all squared. Then we're going to have ourselves add 11 bracket negative 5.5 close bracket add 28 equals there. And we get ourselves negative 2.25. So the y value that matches that turns out to be negative 2.25 which we can slot in here like that. And there you go, we have found the coordinates of the turning point, negative 5.5, negative 2.25, and to be honest, it looks like a fairly sensible given the graph we've, we've seen. Let's have a go at another one. Pause the video, have a go at this one. Okay, same stuff as before. Step one, we're going to find these coordinates. Step two, we're then going to think about exactly halfway between them. And step three, whatever x value is halfway between them, we're going to substitute it into our equation of the parabola and find the y value that matches it. So, firstly, let's get the x-intercept. We know for sure y is zero there. We're solving zero equals x squared, subtract 2x, subtract 8. That factorises nicely to x subtract 4, 
x had 2. And I'm going to jump a step here and just state straight away x is 4 or x is negative 2. So therefore, this coordinate here would be negative 2, 0, and this coordinate here would be 4, 0. The question is then, what step 2? We want to go halfway between these to find the line of symmetry. So halfway, we're going to average the numbers. So we're going to do 4 add negative 2 divided by 2. 4 add negative 2 is like 4. Take away 2 is 2. Divided by 2 is 1. Therefore, this must be the line x is equal to 1, mustn't it? And in particular, our last stage here, I know, therefore, the coordinates of that minimum point there. Well, I know it has x coordinate 1. All I've got to do is substitute in x is 1 in here and find the y value that matches that. So step 3, I'm going to substitute in x is 1 to the um, curve with equation y equals x squared, subtract 2x, subtract 8. This one I should be able to do without a calculator. 1 squared, take away 2, multiplied by 1, subtract 8. 1 squared is 1, take away 2 times 1, which is take away 2, take away 8, and I'm going to get myself the answer, y is negative 9. So 1, negative 9, seems like it's our answer there for the minimum point, and we're done. Right, have a go at this one. Pause the video. Same old stuff. I'm going to start off by step 1, finding the x-intercept. At that point, y is 0. So let's try and solve 0 equals 5x, subtract x squared, subtract 4. Anything causing me a problem? Yeah, I don't like that negative x squared. Let me multiply both sides of the uh, equation by negative 1. That keeps that as 0. But on this side, everything negative becomes positive. Everything positive becomes negative. So therefore, I get a positive x squared. Let me write the negative 5x next. Let me write the positive 4 next. This factorises really nicely for us as x subtract 4, x subtract 1. And jumping a step here, I get x is 4, x is 1 as my two solutions. So therefore, this is the coordinate 4, 0, and this there is the coordinate 1, 0. OK, what's halfway in between the two? I'm looking for the line of symmetry here, exactly halfway between. So step 2 here, I'm going to do 1 add 4 divided by 2, which gives me 2.5. This must be the line x is equal to 2.5. And the last step, in order to find this coordinate here, I know I'm going to substitute in x is 2.5, and I need to find the y that matches that. So I'm going to let x be 2.5, and I'm going to see what y matches that. y would therefore be, going back to the original equation of the curve, 5 multiplied by 2.5, subtract 2.5 squared, subtract 4. This is the type of one that would come up in the calculator paper. So what I do is I do 5 bracket 2.5. Remember to use brackets. Subtract bracket 2.5 squared and then finally subtract 4. And I get the answer 9 over 4 which is 2.25. So y is equal to 2.25 matches that. So 2.25 therefore would be the y coordinate. So the coordinates of the maximum here, which is a turning point, is 2.5, 2.25. That's it for this particular video. Thanks very much for watching.